So you've got to get busy living, mate, and get out there. Yep, we do indeed. <laughs> Yeah. G'day folks, this is the Covey Bush Kid in Central Vic. And do you know what? Today in Central Vic, I'm not by myself. Ta-da! Ta-da indeed, we have <laughs> Mr. Coin Tactor. Young Paul. How are you, Andrew? I'm very well, thanks, Paul. That's and good. We are here in Central, or a little slightly north of my Central Vic. And we're going to play hell and break things. We're going to see what we can find. We've got a couple of old sites that we're going to uh, have a real red hot go at. Looks uh, pretty good, doesn't it? It does indeed. They may well be recreation reserves, but they might not be. A lot of bulbs around. There is a lot of bulbs around. And Paul. there's some big building with a cross on the front of it. You know, yeah. like it. Yeah, there is. Could be a church, perhaps. Look, looks old. Don't give away too much. <laughs> Wait, I think we'll have to put the coils to the soil, mate, and get into it. Sounds good. All right. We'll catch you on the well, next on one. Well done, CBK. Is that what they say? <laughs> CBK? Yeah. All right, <laughs> CBK. Well, my first decent target out with Paul is all the way down there. We've got that. And you go, hmm, what is that? That's the back end of a toy truck. Now we may well be near a school site. So that's understandable that we got that. I reckon I've got another one like this at home. But anyway, that was a fair way down. It did give a decent signal. Let's see if we can find the cab of it uh, or something else just as exciting and interesting. In this hole, uh, it was 26, 29, and we've got that, which is a locking system for a drawer. Now, I reckon I'm in the older section. There's a lot of old crockery. Uh, I've got the 11 inch on, but because there's just so many signals in the ground, uh, it probably won't be too long before I put the six back on. Because, um, yeah, there's just so many signals. And there's got to be some really good stuff in amongst it all. And uh, I think we might sniff it out with the six. But we'll keep going for a little while with the 11 and see what else we can snap on. Well, out of the ground. <laughs> Miss you'll know what this is. But I actually got slightly more than the lid. We had a little bit of the uh, container, but that is a tin of Wonder Wax floor polish. What What is an old house site without one of those floating around, eh? All right, I have spotted it. I've dug it out. Uh, but this was the signal. Dug down there and it's beautiful soft soil up this end, neck of the woods. And out of that plug, what's that lurking under there? Oh, that looks rather penny-esque. I think it might be. Yeah, there's a roo. What have we got there? 1943. She's had a little bit of... Oh, no, it's just crud on the... No, it is bent. It's had bloody contact with something but a 1943 rue penny that's not too bad i think this site site was closed in 1940 i think paul said anyway we'll take that nonetheless we'll keep going all right there's paul there hi i've got a signal here i've just dug down and I've just popped it up, and there it is. Oh, you've got a little mm -hmm. silver, have you? <laughs> yeah, and um, poor old Paul just got a, got a ring pull. <laughs> oh, it's a little thrippy, is it? It is a little thrippy, well and we need to clean that up to find out who it is. 
Might be Buddy Vicky for all it looks like. Yeah, but is it as good as that, mate? <laughs> <laughs> we'll let the viewers at home decide. Ring pull or, or thrippence? <laughs> well done, mate. Oh, that could be one there too. Well, there's George. George the ah, fifth. Have that, mate. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. And we have a 1921 uh, thrippence. That's a beautiful little coin. So just a bit of water on that, and it's come up that good. Anyway, we will keep going because I've got another target close by. But we might be on the overly section of where we might be, maybe. And, you know, you can take that as a firm possibility. Brown bugger. All right, here we are. Paul's got a signal. 26, 27. Yeah, and hopefully it's not, you know what? What's going on here? Where? Oh, stop it. <laughs> Hang on a sec. Still I'm, I'm sure I've just missed it, mate. Right. Don't worry, I'll put my hole back. It's a little bit of a mess there isn't it yeah she's right huh it's in here okay can't be surely oh, oh. oh there it oh. Yep, you were right. It's got some lizard on it, mate. And a two. With a frilled neck. Aren't you thrilled to find that? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> All right, he's back. What? <laughs> he's just spotted it. <laughs> <laughs> this is too zip, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it is, isn't it? I keep finding the coppers and he keeps ripping out the silvers. Look at that. Oop. Oh, nice little coin, mate. That's a little doozy. Another George too. Oh, well done. Yeah, but is it as good as this that I just found? <laughs> Again, viewers can decide the piece of muck metal or the little thrippage. I'm keeping my muck metal going on. <laughs> oh, well done, mate. Yep, and we have that looks like 19, it's either 17 or 27. Looks 17. 1917. Hold it there, we'll do a little trick. Oh, yeah, we can do that too. There we go. It is too. 1917. Yeah. <sighs> Didn't think of doing that one. We went and seen 1927 the other day. Actually, that is 27. No. Yeah, 1927. Well, we just went and seen the band 1927 <laughs> the other night. They were quite good, actually. Yep, all the way back <sighs> from the 80s. See. Oh, fuck. Do you All want me right. to film you? <laughs> you can film me. No, with right. yours. No, no, it's fine. Hang on, yeah, hang on. I'll, 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 you don't mind. <laughs> All right. Hang on. Paul and I are out again. You might notice, even though we're big strapping blokes, we've both each had a coil reduction. Oh, yeah, it sort of shrank quite <laughs> considerably. It got wet. Now, I've got a signal down here. We are in a very. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> we're in a very. <laughs> very trashy site as you know i usually like playing in these i got a 26 to 30 just in one little spot uh paul couldn't believe that i was doing what i was doing can you just before you flip it over can you just tell them what you did you flipped <laughs> the clump over <laughs> yeah this was this was it i may have lifted this up 
Paul used the analogy that I just pulled back a sheet of corrugated iron and found a brown snake. I yeah. just put it straight back again. He put it straight down. Anyway. All right, here we go. Are you all ready? Come on, mate. What have we got? What have we got? It'll be silver knowing you. Oh, what is that? Well, it looks silver, doesn't it? What is that? It's a, it's a button, is it? I don't know. I was hoping it was a silver. Ah, it's an old button, is it? it? Is a, uh, no. It's what? something silver with that's had blue paper on it. Oh, so it's... It's an old button, I reckon. Yeah, look at that. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> well, it was silver. I'm quite happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> Righto. Well, I would have got Paul on everybody. He's on the phone to someone. Nice signal. Anyone's terms. I'm beside a fence to the property and yeah oh yeah everything like that again i've seen this well I've, I've had a sneak peek i don't reckon it's one of those silver things that i just got before which paul got one so we won a piece for those but we gently gently ah can you see that welcome to the light of day oh is it one of those no, it is. It is a coin. Yes, it is. Oh, yeah. And look, just at that dirtiness, I'm going to leave it and I'll clean it up so we can see exactly what it is together. Alrighty, we're back. There's my knee. And there's the coin. 1908. English coin. Sixpence. That's right, there's Edward the Seventh. Bloody Edward the Seventh, sixpence. That is just absolutely brilliant. And we're finding this in amongst all the trash. Uh, I've gone for my usual default settings 15 and above, discri oh, fif below 15 discrimination, so we're playing 15 to 40. I've got my uh, recovery speed now on eight. I've dropped my sensitivity back to 22 because it's not quite a trash site because it's got some depth to all the fines, uh, but I don't really want it at 24. But that is just absolutely brilliant. Let's see if we can sniff any more out of the ground. Alrighty, and here we go in the next signal. There's Paul waving around. I got this nice little 17, 18, 19, but it was just small. Small enough to be a clock key. Nice find, mate. I like that, that is a beautiful find. Very happy with that one. It's so nice and dainty. That's a ripper. That can go in the box to go home. The Ansonia Clock Company dates from 1850 from Bristol, Connecticut. Just before World War I, Ansonia was producing 440 different models and was the largest clock factory in the world. The company went into receivership a few months before the stock market crash of 1929 and was sold to Soviet-owned Amtorg. Well, this is a piece. Don't know what it is. It's a heavy casting. Don't know what it was on, don't know what it's from. It's got the letters N-D-H-U-R. Is it a nail? That one might be a nail. I've got a nail. <laughs> so, with that spelling, I would be quite happy. And with our proximity to Bendigo, there's the hint, I think that would have said Sandhurst, which was what Bendigo was called before it went to Bendigo. That is a cool little old find. Well, Paul and I have just discovered a, an old house site. Here's a peppercorn tree which gave it away for me. Down in that hole I ended up with that which is the brass casting of a chair caster. What else would you expect to find in the gold fields but one of those? Whoop, off she goes. So I know a woman that's going to get that for something artistic to do with. And we shall keep going.
Well, there we go. Oh, Andrew's got the new selfie stick. The yeah, Joby. The Joby. Oh, it's a little bit, it's got a little remote, you know, you press the button and it works, but we're always going. Why won't it work? Anyway, this is the end of the day. Uh, we ended up at another recreation reserve and we would have bet, bet that we would have got more than we did, which was absolutely nothing. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> that was a hint. Did you get it? <laughs> yeah. So, um, anyway, we're going to call it a day. Uh, it's been a really good day out. Thoroughly enjoyed myself. Good I to catch you. up with you, mate. It was, it was wonderful. And we went and had lunch at the bakery. And I did, well, I had two pies. I probably could have only done with one, but. Yeah, well, I, was, I, only, I only had one. I was starving. And it's not blocked. <coughs> now, listen, I've got a question for you. Yeah. I know you found three silvers, but did you find any two cent pieces? No, I missed out. Well, you better lift your game, son. <laughs> I think the two cent piece crown. Uh, it stays with you oh, this time. Anyway, that nah, was good. And in, um, next time, hopefully, we can get onto some older sites and smash some really old silver. So get on, mate. Yep, yep, that's exactly it. Well done, CBK. Thank you very much, Mr. Coin nice, Taker. Nice to meet you. And um, yeah, jump on board and have a look. His subs are going up. And, and, and jump on to Coin Tector's thing, too. There'll be a link in the description below for this collaboration. How do you do that, by the way? Oh, Viv does it. Oh, well, can you let. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to do the link thing. No, I Someone don't. I just, I've just learned to say that, and I sound professional. It's actually there. really good, actually. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, keep in mind, always good to fill in some of your day detecting, and remember to fill in all your holes when you're finished, and detect with a friend when you can. Top it's a great tip. thing. Top, Top tip. tip. <laughs> See you, buddy. See you, mate. That was really good, that outro. Yeah. And a good time will be had by all. And no rain, hopefully. Yeah. Because we don't want the rain. No, we That'll don't. That'll put a bit of a damper on, on things.